Hey guys, today we are in Cities Skylines running down the top 20 mods which doubles up as a list for not only the most awesome 20 mods out there but mods that are going to complement my playstyle in the upcoming series. That playstyle being a player who doesn't necessarily like to use the air quotes cheaty mods but they are going to be ease of access they're going to save time, save the number of clicks, and save the number of works, even though you can still get the same sort of stuff out of the game without the mods. That said, there will be a couple in there that you might disagree with that do break the game ever so slightly. You can't please everyone. Okay, mod number one, the roundabout builder. You can build roundabouts in vanilla, but it just takes time and effort, and this mod saves all of that. You can choose whatever road you want, you don't have to delete what was previously there, you can scale the size, you can free place them. If you want to save time with your roundabouts, this mod is essential. Number two, we have our automatic pedestrian bridge builder. This mod will automatically build the pedestrian footpaths over intersections, junctions, roundabouts and any other road layouts that you have set around. Again, it's something else that you can do by hand, however this mod will do it in one click and on top of that it'll be lovely looking, you can get some lovely geometrical shapes, it will be spaced out perfectly and the job will be done. Saves you a ton of time. Mod number three, we have the automatic bulldozer. This mod is really, really good. It will automatically delete abandoned or burned buildings, as well as the fact it gives you a little bit more control and more tools when you are trying to delete things. For example, you can tell it to delete roads or pipes, trees, etc and you can pull it out like a marquee tool as well rather than just clicking them all individually. So once again, saves yourself a lot of clicks, wrist strain and time. Number four, Cloud and Fog Toggler. This one does nothing to change the gameplay at all. It just takes away fog, mist, clouds, smog, things that make the game difficult to see through and of course I'm on YouTube I want to have a good looking game and I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing and I'm sure in your own playthrough you'd appreciate just being able to see what the hell you're doing. Number five the loading screen mod once again does nothing to the gameplay however if you are going to install more than one mod what this will do is tell you if the mod is broken or colliding with another mod that stops it working and it gives you lots of the tech info that if you have problems you can take to the internet be it a discord or reddit and you can ask others to see what the problem is. It's a diagnostic tool more than anything else and it does say it speeds up your loading time. Whether that's true or not I'll let you judge. Next up, mod number six is the Parallel Road Tool. Primary function of this mod is to give you a road that runs alongside another road which is exactly parallel. Consistent space between both roads, consistent angle between both roads, you can go round corners, you can elevate, you can choose which road you want and you can even make sure that the other road is going the opposite way round if this is, for example, a highway or one-way system you're trying to make. Number seven on the list is the forest brush. May also be known as the tree brush to some of you. Lots of different mods out there doing the same thing for this one. What I like about this one is that you're allowed to make some preset brushes up. And from there, you can just paint away trees. In the vanilla game, you have to place one by one you can appreciate this will beautify an area in seconds, whereas otherwise it would take a 
a long time. That sounded patronizing, but it takes a long time. Number eight on the list we have Zoom It. Again, this will make no difference to gameplay. It basically allows you to zoom further in or further out. So let's say you want to focus on maybe some macro detailing or you just want a large overview of your city. This will break the usual parameters of zoom and let you see. Next up we have the 81 tile mod. You might also find a 25 tile mod. They both do the same thing. They allow you to unlock X number of tiles whereby the vanilla game only gives you 9. One thing I will say about the 81 tile mod is if you are going to open tiles all the way to the edge of the map it does cut off quite abruptly and it breaks the immersion slightly. But it's up to you. Flexibility is yours if you want it. My number 10 is the City Vitals Watch mod. This gives you a user interface constantly on screen which you can make more or less transparent if you want and the information it shows you is what demand you're currently providing your sims. This is useful, just check at a glance rather than have to click through all the menus and see if something is lacking. Honourable mention here goes to the Watch It mod which does a very similar thing but it doesn't do it in a bar chart form. It's a binary colour system where you're either doing good, okay or bad. Number 11 for me is the Smart Intersection Builder. This can be either pre-made intersections custom made ones or toll booths but essentially if you've got a long straight stretch of road you can just highlight the tool click it on the road and the intersection will build deleting the necessary parts and joining the dots where necessary of course you can do a workaround in the vanilla game whereby you just have to delete everything first and join the dots yourself once again the point in this is it's a time saver and it makes your life so much easier than doing it without. Number 12 for me is Auto Line Colour and while searching for it I found this one which also changes the street name so I'm going to try it. The advantage of this is let's say you are placing many of the same type of transport route from a similar location. The colours of all the lines are different as you place them making it easier to track which line is going where. Unlucky number 13 and this is where the mods start to get a little bit more cheaty as they change how the game is played. This one called Crossings allows you to plop down a zebra crossing. This will allow pedestrians to cross where they wouldn't have been able to cross before because usually these crossings only happen at junctions. Here you can put them along straight roads. With walkability being a big part of how I like to play my game, this makes a difference. Next up we have the Move It mod and this is so incredibly powerful with so many features. Ultimately it is an eye candy mod whereby you can just nudge and tweak things into the exact position you want them to be in but it has so many more features. It's got a click and drag selection or you can use single nodes. This will move props, roads, trees, landmarks, buildings, anything and everything. If you want to just really fine-tune your city to be absolute perfection, this is the one you want. My personally favourite use is on-ramps and off-ramps into the motorways and freeways. This just adjusts the height in increments so much more fine than the vanilla game will allow. Next up for me is Extra Landscaping Tools, which gives you extra landscaping tools. You get extra cursors, you get the ability to change the strength and the size of the brushes, you can add in water spawners, and it also has a tree brush included as well. So you may want to avoid one of my earlier suggestions if you are going to go down this line. Traffic Manager Pro Edition is number 16. This is another game changer. This mod is absolutely crazy powerful. 
It helps you manage traffic flow throughout your city and it gives you so many other tools. You can change speed limits, toggle traffic lights on or off. You can disallow certain vehicles and certain roads. You can change the lanes, make sure cars choose certain lanes. You can do all your lane mathematics. You can change your lane priorities as well. Vital mod, again, if your machine can run it, do it. Worth noting once again, you do have to take a few others as you download it. 17. The Electric Roads mod. Quite simply, your roads conduct electricity. You don't need to bugger about with electricity pylons. 18. Remove the need for pipes with Remove the need for pipes. This one, okay, you don't need to place pipes. If you're doing a vanilla playthrough where you want to incorporate the cost of pipes, that's fine, build them. I might even do that myself, but for a lot of people, especially once you've been playing the game for a long time or once money is no longer an option, this is just one of the most tedious parts of the game. And you can refer these comments to the electricity pylons for number 17 as well. Number 19, more network stuff. This is particularly handy for moving shipping lanes if there's a little bit of land blocking it from what the vanilla game has left you with. Just gives you more options to try and get ships in and out, or at least that's how I view it. I know you can also change aeroplane pathways too. Number 20, another really good mod, Network Extensions 2. This one gives you a whole host of new roads with different lane combinations, even asymmetric roads. So you've got more lanes going in one direction than the other. And of course, you can create dedicated lanes to turning lanes. I believe it also has a few roads with medians in the middle, so no crossing. Number 21. That's right, number 21. I am a cheat. I'm a dirty, rotten, lying cheat, and I am crossing the damn line. What the mod is. It's good. If you've got something just out of what you've unlocked, you can play with it. So there you have it. That is my top 20 mods for City Skylines, and you can look forward to them being involved in my next Cities Skylines project right here on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff that helps out me and will eventually provide more content for you. Finally, I've made a Discord. Have a look for it, enjoy it. Hopefully we can make a nice wee community together. Guys, be safe, take care, goodbye.